Charles, the situation over there seems to be deteriorating by the day. Does President Assad seem to think that this resolution, this failed UN attempt to get him out of the way, opens the door for him to be even more aggressive? Um, I, I think it has emboldened the regime. It, it certainly uh, increased their perception that, that they still have a chance of, of, of riding this thing out, seeing it through, waiting for conditions to change and surviving. Um, you know, they, they, as long as they have that, that you know, re remnant of international support, Russia, China, out there. Um, you're right, you have seen violence, you know, appears to be increasing. See a pretty uh, big crackdown, it looks like, on a town outside of Damascus. Another looks like looming assault on Homs, the city that saw the, the really brutal shelling on Saturday morning. Um, and, and you've seen the, the rebel forces start to, uh, you know, call for, looks like they're ready to, to mobilize or, or try to step up their sort of organization. They, they called for sort of a higher military council to be formed today. Uh, to try to sort of lend some shape and, and hierarchy to a, to a rebel army that is, is, you know, very, very loosely knit and, 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 and uncoordinated at this point. Charles, is there any way that the Russia-Chinese decision uh, to veto this resolution can be defended? Well, I mean, Russia has its own concerns and interests. It doesn't see this as purely a human rights issue, of course. It, it thinks there's a lot of politics involved. Uh, the Gulf countries, the U.S. don't like Syria. They don't like Iran, and, and they think that's driving it. Uh, in, at least in part. Uh, Russia has long-standing ties with Syria. It, it's sort of its last uh, outpost in the Middle East. Um, it, it also felt like it was sort of betrayed uh, during the Libyan uprising when it, when it backed a Security Council resolution to protect civilians. And, it, and, it, and from its view, it was sort of used as a, a pretense to uh, you know, come out full-fledged in support militarily of the rebels. We now see, by the way, French President Nicolas Sarkozy slated to meet with Russian President Medvedev this afternoon. Uh, Merkel calling on Russia to potentially reconsider its actions. President Obama speaking about his concerns. The Arab League expressing a uh, worry that Syria is sliding into a civil war. Yeah, I mean, that, and that's the question I was going to ask Charles is, you know, people talk about a civil war rather loosely. Is the opposition in any position to truly uh, have an armed struggle that has a chance of succeeding against the regime at this point? I think you're very unlikely to see the opposition defeat the regime, you know, straight up militarily, but it certainly can continue to wear it down, to, to wear down its political support, to make its hold, its ability, its, its grasp more and more untenable, to, to, to encourage more defections, to encourage more political defections, and, and, and that's what's happening. So, you know, and, and eventually just cause the political collapse of the regime. Um, you know, insurgencies such as this, similar as we saw in Iraq and elsewhere, you know, they don't defeat the, 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 the more powerful enemy militarily, but, but they use military, they use their military, you know, they use the ability to conduct attacks and to, and to keep, uh, you know, keep pressure on to basically wear down the political will of, of, of their enemy. Um, and, and certainly the regime is not able to defeat, it looks unlikely to be able to defeat them militarily as well. It, it has lost the support of the people in vast swaths of Syria. Um, it can't hold on to ground, so it can go in and do damage and cause casualties, but it's, it's unlikely to be able to re, you know, retain, retake control of those parts of the country that essentially lost control in. Yeah, right. a devastating and fluid situation in Syria. We'll continue to keep an eye on it, especially as we see more international support for calling on President Assad to step aside.